All right, this is the simplest tip ever, okay? We've all been there. You're not hitting the ball well. You're searching for something. You've got a big round out tomorrow, right? What can we do to get us hitting the ball quickly right away? And something that, as you know, tips don't always help out, right? You've tried a tip from somebody and maybe you got a little worse sometimes. This one is literally foolproof, idiot proof. It's gonna help everybody out there. Professional level, down to beginner level, okay? And basically it's just putting your chin to your shoulder, right? Or what I call shoulder to shoulder, right? So you've all heard of that before, but how do we actually go about doing it, okay? A great example here is champion golfer Cameron Smith, right? We all know he won the Players' Championship. He won the British Open last year before he defected to live golf. That's another story, but he does this so well, and that's part of why he's such a great, consistent ball striker, okay? So what happens here, when, when you're able to kind of make your shoulders turn on plane, and you're able to bring your chin to your shoulder, it's going to do a couple things. It's going to keep your head very steady, and it's gonna help you keep your posture as you come through to your finish. Let me show you with some alignment rods. Okay, so you notice here that golf is played with the ball on the ground. So it's very important that I maintain this inclination as I go back. And the inclination there, it's not just with my shoulders, it's also with my pelvis. Now, it's the, the, the pelvis inclination is not quite as steep as the shoulders, but it's definitely there both back and through. And, you know, what I see so often when players go to try to hit a ball harder, they start to want to move off the golf ball. And as soon as that happens, you can see my shoulders start to turn too flat. My head starts to translate. I'm going to have some low point issues. I'm basically in a plane to either hit a ball up here and top it, or I'm going to come over the top from here. So as we do this, right, we start to get a better sense of how to properly move both back and through. So one thing to be careful if you do this, it's not just about keeping your head down, right? I hear that a lot. When I go to keep my head down, you can see that I'm really not moving much at all from down below. So as we're working this back and through, I'm still remaining somewhat active in my lower body as my chin and my head go right into my lead shoulder. Right? The better I'm able to do this, the better I'm able to have this inclination that points me down to the ball, helps keep my spine angle, helps keep this, this constant radius, this constant distance from address to the top. And then here's the hardest part, right? I'm gonna show you from this view. It's being able to do this into your finish, right? So as I go into my finish here, you'll notice there's a couple things here. I can actually still see the ball on the ground and I still see the ball in the air. We're not doing this, right? That ball is for sure going to the right. And we're not doing this. People that say, don't look up, right? Just keep your head down on the ball. I'll tell you where it went. We're not doing that either. We're moving our hips and shoulders through until our chin makes contact with our shoulder. And then it gets pulled up to our finish. And it's interesting here when you look at this, okay? I'm not in a very common position that I see on the course. My spine is inclined to the right, and my eyes are actually a little bit on a, on a tilted angle here. It would be like if I walked up and I was talking to you, instead of talking like this, I was talking to you like this, right? That would be a little odd, but it's not odd for golf, okay? When we go to our finish, you notice how my, my weight goes to the outside of my lead ankle, and my spine tilts a little bit, you know, uh, towards right side bend for me, right, up to my finish. So that's very common here, right? Not like this, that's not how we wanna finish. We don't finish straight, we finish on this tilted plane. Because remember, the golf ball's still down there, and I wanna respect that both back to the top and then through to the finish. A couple interesting stories. I used to tell this joke that if you ever saw a woman and you showed up on the first tee and there's a lady there and she has makeup on her shoulder, don't play her for money because there's a good chance that she's a really good golfer because she knows how to do this, right? Another story is just um, talking about Ben Hogan, right? One of the greatest ball strikers ever. He used to have wear marks on his shirt on both sides from his, his scruff, just digging into his shoulder, boom, digging into his shoulder. So you got a good round coming out tomorrow. You wanna to go out and try this? It's a simple, surefire, easy way to help stabilize your golf swing.
Go give it a shot and see if it helps you play better. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for a way to get more consistency in your golf swing, then I've got just the thing for you. I've put together a three-part training series where I walk you through an easy process with one goal in mind, giving you a more efficient, athletic, and consistent golf swing. I call it the Consistency Clinic, and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link right here. This training series isn't available anywhere else, so go ahead, click the link right now, and I'll see you on the other side.